Hello everybody, it's MinecraftGuy105 here, and, um, thank you for 50 subscribers, so, it may not seem like that much, but, um, yeah, it's good for me, I guess, because I started out with 1 and 1 to 50. Anyway, so today I have three things to show you. Oh, and thank you for the people who did subscribe to me, so, yeah, um, anyway, so yeah, again, I have three things to show today, so here they are, um, we are in 1.7, if you can see it says 13W39B, which is the snapshot from 1.7, and yeah, so first is this door, it's like this, it looks pretty nice. But then, when you flip the switch, it closes just like it would in like a castle. Then when you turn it back on, it like revolves or something into the ceiling. And this is without using pistons. All of these things, by the way, are pretty much using command blocks, which is nice. But so down here is the redstone. The main part is this. So these are setting the block. This is the off mode which is setting the block two blocks above the command block to air that's what all these three rows are the bottom ones are summoning falling sand seven blocks above with the tile ID of 85 which is fence, fence post so yeah that's when I turn it on so um, one thing I could have done is I could have had these be set blocks instead of summon so it would have looked a little nicer when it goes down but I think it was nice to have it fall down instead of being placed down so next is the not fishing rod but the rope bridge so all these things by the way are pretty useful that they they could be useful in like adventure maps or something but next is the rope bridge so let me get in on that pressure plate over there. And it builds a little bridge for you. You can, like, grief it or something if you want. And then step on this pressure plate. And it'll grow for you. Or, like, pl place itself back or something. So the redstone, this is just a simple back forth kind of redstone elevator thing. I guess anyway but the most important part is here so these all these top ones have the same command so set block 9 5 which is 9 blocks above it and 5 is the ID for wood so all these have the same one but the there are two rows under it this row and this row this row is setting the block 11 blocks to 85 which is the fence post so I could show you these separately. I don't know if that's actually going to work. Yeah, that all turns it on. But this, however, I can show you if I break this. and I'm just going to break the entire thing. So now you can see that there is no fence post anymore. But if I push this button with that command block, well, it spawns wood because it's the block above it. And it also spawns at two fence posts because of the one next to it. But if I were to take this one and that one out, then it would work. Well, I'll just place one. But anyway, if I just take that out of my inventory, I can put this away too. If I go in here, well... Did you see that? <laughs> it's kind of a glitch. You can just shift down and then... Oh. Anyway. So this one is, has an explosive part in it. Um, I'm going to skip that. Well, I'm going to show you it working, but I'm not going to show you what it does first. I'm going to show you how it works because some of it might get blown up. So there's a simple hopper clock running into command blocks testing for... Um, a block test for a block that's two blocks above the command block and it's testing for 132 which is string and if it 
find the string above it, it will run into this repeater and running into, or this comparator running into this repeater and turning one torch off, like depending where it is. So if I place string up there, this torch is going to turn off, but the others will stay on. So once you've placed string in all the spot, and you'll see what I mean, well, all the spots, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. This redstone line will all turn off, and this one will turn on, making that there will turn on. Then when I push a button, which is in there, it's going to run line into this piston, pushing the block here. And if all the string is there, there's going to be a redstone signal going in this repeater through the block if you push the button, and then through here. And this redstone line leads into a block that plays a sound random fuse then it runs into something that I can't really show that well maybe I can yeah it summons um, a throw ender pearl three blocks above it which is basically just particles I might be able to yeah it throws the ender pearl then does the particles like that Oops. yeah there So, that's basically how that works. Oh, and when this is activated, a, a few ticks later, it will ignite the TNT. So, I have my Ender Fuse here. I just renamed to that, to Ender Fuse, which I didn't need to, but... So, you can see there's a button. If I push it, nothing happens. And you can notice that there's string here but no string here. I don't know if you're able to see that, but anyway, I have string here, so if I place one down and push the button, nothing happens. Two, nothing happens. We're gonna skip ahead to four, nothing happens, but when I place the fifth string right there, then the circuit is complete, and Boom. Yeah, so that's pretty much that. Um, wow, most of it stayed together, just the walls fell apart. And some of the repeaters, but yeah, you get what I mean. String and under string, hmm, they don't stack. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the redstone. And now I am actually going to, never mind, go back in here. I was gonna go play in the hide and seek server, but I guess I'll save that for the video which I'm going to upload after this. I'm going to make a video of the hide and seek server after this, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for a uh, hundred, or not a hundred, but 50 subscribers, halfway there to a hundred. Um, I will be uploading more videos. Thank you for watching all my videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. So. Yes, I'll probably be making more videos that are nice, but, or cool like this, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. These are some good map making techniques that you can use in your adventure maps. So, like a rope bridge, which I just fell through. Um, yeah, and you can have your door thing here. And you can have this thingamajig. <laughs> Might be like something, some quest thing. Like you have to get string, and then like if you get all the string, then you can go on and blow up the wall. I just put that bedrock there so it wouldn't like blow up everything. So you can do whatever you want. But <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.